Uh, here, welcome to the channel. Hey, welcome here. Welcome to the channel. Hey, welcome, fuck off. Hey, hello, I had um, somebody having a go at me yesterday. Hey, welcome to the channel. I don't know what they were. I triggered them somehow, but I don't know why. So it was about, really, the joke was about, and I've been through this myself, it's about um, a tra but the transgender protocols. There's three things that the Scottish government set out that trans people um, are entitled to, you know, in terms from the NHS. One was, uh, shall we go straight on here? Is this... Yeah, I think we'll go straight on. Watch this. Watch this nifty manoeuvre. Right. So can we beat that car? I, I think they might beat us because it's longer going this way. Um, yeah, so part of the three protocols. One is speech therapy. So that is... And this is how ridiculous this... This gives you an indication as to how ridiculous this ideological... game is um, it's thanks thank you thank you thank you it's a nice cyclist see um, the ideological game is is that um, what's this what's this what's this what's this what's this is it going to be there is it going to be there oh shite right what the hell's going on here? Um, well, for fuck's sake! The, uh, the car's behind me. I beat the I beat the Lerma car. <laughs> it's behind me. Um, the ideological game. So that, so I have a wee laugh a bit. And what? There's two elements. To, if you're a male and you want to, basically, transgender thing is male to female. If it, let's just talk about that, right? We're not talking about female to male. We're talking about male to female. The so you're you're trying to, or you believe within yourself. It's all mumbo jumbo, of course. But you believe within yourself that you're in the wrong. Well, this is where it gets conflated because it's sex or is it gender? So gender, sex, different things, different words. So in order to speak like a female, there's two elements. Well, there's three actually. One is pitch. Uh, now. So the misconception is that if you have a sex change, that's an orchidectomy or whatever it's called, and a, vagina, a vaginoplasty or something like that, that that's going to change your voice. It's not going to change your voice, right? It absolutely is not, right? So, obviously, because I went through puberty with a deep voice, and that's what men have. So that is probably the most fundamental and biggest obvious reason why you shouldn't embark on such a... Change, right? Oh, there's a wheel trim over there. Oh, look at that one. Can we get we can get that wheel trim? <laughs> it's that's not all that appealing. <laughs> it's um, I I could have got out and got it. No, you can't do that. Fuck's sake! Jesus Christ! You cannot go out and get wheel trims. So um. So what you do is you have to raise your, you have to sort of live that, you have to do that all the time and I, I tried it and then I realised that, no this is just fucking ridiculous, you know trying to talk like that with a higher pitch and the intonation and everything and it, it is the most loony part of it and a lot of them will, they'll go to speech therapy, transgender women will go to speech therapy. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, some of them maybe not too bad, but that's when you really should realise that you're you're really, you know, really shouldn't be doing it. You, you can't really change who you are. Um, so that was the whole thing about it was changing who you are, and that's what you're trying to do. And. People say, well, you're not trying to do that. Well, so, well you are. You really are trying to do that. Um, you are trying to change who you are. Um, oh, I should have went that way. What am I doing this for? It's because I was always kind of 
believing that a road, you know, the, I was under the impression that it's closed. You know, um, so that, anyway, so that's when that, where that comes from. I think that's probably where the intro comes from. Welcome to the channel. So, you know, I'm taking the piss. But, I, you know, I'm taking the piss of myself. You know, it's like, I'm not taking the piss of you. Or, or maybe I am. But if you can't, you know, that was the whole thing about the ide ideology, the LGBT ideology, is you can't have any fun. You know, and there's, there's people I met, a lot of them are reasonably intelligent people. You know, I met them. They weren't stupid people at all, you know, and they were fo they're following this ideology is what it is. And it, so really, ironically, this is the whole thing, this has got a lot of resistance from feminists or mainstream, mainstream media, is that it's a lot easier if you could actually, if you say you're a woman and you're a man, it's a lot easier just to say that than it is to go through all these... Um, procedures, you know, the operations and everything. It's just a lot easier, isn't it? I'm a woman, right? Fine. And of course, they're going to have the protected spaces, which is. So the feminists and the mainstream sort of female narrative, if it's mainstream, which it probably is, because they need their space from men, and they weren't happy when there was these men in their dress, and they were sort of claiming they could be rapists and everything like that. I mean, that doesn't really bear up to a lot of scrutiny. Um, basically, really, it's metaphorical. Parks of Hamilton. Um, it's metaphorical. Um, it's just drawing a line in the sand. So the, the, the issue is that the hypocrisy from the feminists is, wait a minute, you know, you, you've invaded men's spaces. You've rem you know, men's spaces have been removed. You know, so it's, it's good for the goose, it's good for the gander. So all things are a bit complicated, right? But anyway, all the, this conversation I've been having is all because somebody said, or I think I triggered somebody. Well, they haven't actually explained themselves. There was a few things in the video. It was the one going up um, nine, um, 90 uh, at Ken Ross, when I did the speech therapy thing. So basically, what I, what I triggered with that person was their, their inner uh, virtue signal signaling element, where they, they were trying to protect disabled people in their minds, and that was so they uh, thought I was encroaching on them um, or being disrespectful towards disabled. Well, you know, I mean, it's it's all a bit weird, it's sketchy. Well, what is a disabled person? You know. Does that mean a transgender person is a disabled person? Well, some ways that, yeah. But they, the big fight for that is no, no, it's not, you know, it's the way we are and everything, you know. And they would fight to say that it's not a disability. But if it's not a disability, why are you getting um, treatment on the NHS? To affirm your, you know, that sort of bullshit. So it's all a bit complicated. Um, and uh, probably after listening to this video, you'll be totally worse now. You won't have a clue about any of it. So I've just confused everybody. Which is what I do. It's one of my superpowers. enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and we'll get you on the next video. There's a Vauxhall. Adam. Am I going to get a parking space? Doesn't look like it, does it? And I'm not disabled, so I won't be able to park there. Um, mm, right. Right, I could park right in there, couldn't I? Yeah. No. You can't park right in there. What about, what about in front of that car? 
Uh, I think that looks like a good spot. Yeah, I'll just have to do. So, thanks for watching. If you like, subscribe. Bye!